what you quickly do notice at, at varsity is that there's no roll call. In high school, you pretty much know everyone around you, and over here, you hardly know anyone. Um, you have to really motivate and push yourself to learn. The lifestyle of uni is way different from high school. That's you structure it yourself, so you're not going um, running your day according to the school bell. You're running your day according to your watch. Writing notes down. Whereas at high school, you were given notes, um, basically spoon fed from day one. At uni, you kind of have to find your own means to, to learn so you have to bring your own books buy books bring paper pen um, and basically write notes from the start of lectures to the end i um i like the freedom so i got distracted a lot by my friends so we went and played played elsewhere went on queen street mucked around but then as um time went past and i found out the hard way that it is important to go to lectures and it's important to discipline yourself to get to these lectures I guess what motivated me the most was the fact that I was actually paying for my education. It wasn't my parents anymore. Um, and when you get the bills at the end of the year of how much you're paying for lectures, it's not a lot cheap. Plus I was um, first in my entire family to come to uni. So I suppose I had a lot of um, my family's aspirations riding on my shoulders and <laughs> didn't want to let them down. Where I serve my lecture field kind of reflects yeah. where my level of learning is. And um, so when I first started lectures in my first year, I kind of sat at the back. Gradually over time, the more I wanted to learn, I kind of moved closer to where the front was. A lot of students um, going to lectures and they're not really, they are, they're there physically, but then they're not, they're not there mentally. Mm. So you get them doing other stuff like drawing on other people's books or making noises. Whereas if you, you know, when you're on the front, everyone's focused at the front of the lecture theatre and focused on the lecture. You feel like left alone. There are clubs you can join, like um, I'm in the hiking club. And um, every month we go out on hikes and um, it makes you feel a part of something. So if you're by yourself at uni, you can join one of these clubs because they have a lot of freebies and a lot of meeting times. So yeah, it really makes you feel special. I joined the dessert club, and Faisy did too. <laughs> yeah, I joined the dessert club. <laughs> Get free dessert. The talk and the mentors, they're, um, they're older students, so they'll be second and third year students. And so they've, they've got experience in um, the subjects that you're doing. They help you out with um, like essay writing, lab reports, study tips, and it's just easier to have someone that you can um, relate to more easily. But at uni, um, I guess you gotta find what you feel comfortable in. You know, whether it be the freshest gears <laughs> or, um, you know, I don't know. Like, there's no uniform, no one tells you what to wear. You can wear your school uniform if you want. Don't dress too hard out because a lot of people will laugh at you. <laughs> I'll stand out. Dress appropriately oh, for your yeah. size. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and also, just like you're not going clubbing. <laughs> yeah, just just use the LG, okay? <laughs> just don't go over the top. Yeah. Just you know, be yourself. You know, t-shirt, shorts, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> okay, top three distractions that you need: girls, girls, and the boys. Uh, Food, freedom, and friends. Girls, boys, and freedom. The bar chicken, uh, the lamb on rice, and the boys. Actually know what you want to do at uni. Uh, when you hit your first year, you know what you don't want to do is after your third year of your degree and realize, or third year degree of doing medicine, you realize you want to be a lawyer. So. When you do come to uni, make sure that you know what you're doing and stick with it. it makes it easier in the long run. If, if I was put up against a person who had, say, graduated from uni with A's and I graduated with C's, who are they going to take? You know, and sort of coming in with that sort of half pie attitude isn't really going to get you far if you think about it. You know, don't follow what your friends want to do. Do what you want to do, and your parents as well. Sometimes your parents can have different expectations of you. So do what you want to do, because in the end, it's you that's going to be working that job or doing that particular career. <laughs>